Hello everyone and welcome to the Guna Factory. So today we have a big Gabriel Jesus story. It's a massive update and also as the January transfer window nears we keep getting linked to different players and one name that just doesn't seem to be going away is Dusan Vlahovic. So I'll give you my opinion on that and why perhaps it wouldn't be the best idea for Arsenal to go in for him. So let's get into it. So we are going to get straight into this Gabriel Jesus news. And it's good news for us Arsenal fans. So Gabriel Jesus played 90 minutes against Argentina. I wasn't expecting him to really even feature this international break, let alone play the whole game against the World Cup winners. We heard earlier in the week that Brazil sort of decided to fly Jesus out to join his teammates and then be assessed by their doctors. And we even found out he was participating in the first team training, which was a shock in itself. But to play a full game must mean they saw him to not only be recovering well, but be at such a level he's able to play the full game against a massive international rival. Now, maybe this was Brazil getting a little bit of payback on Arsenal after Arsenal tried telling them that Gabriel Jesus would not be fit enough to make these international games. So when he arrived and they concluded he was in sound enough state to feature, they might have been thinking, you know what, you lot have tried pulling a fast one with us to benefit yourselves. So not only are we going to put him in training, we're going to whack him straight into the deep end against the top side and we're not even going to sub him. Look, and whether that's true or not, it's still a strong message from Brazil to play what they got told was an injured player for 90 minutes. And I'm sure that will ruffle a few feathers within the Arsenal camp. Arteta, I'm sure, will be one of them. Edu, another. And it is interesting because Edu is obviously Brazilian, so you would assume there's a good relationship there. And maybe that's what could have annoyed the Brazil camp. If, in fact, they are annoyed, they could be thinking... Come on, mate, you're meant to be one of us and you're lying to us to keep the player fresh for your own use. Now, how does this affect this weekend's game? That I did, in fact, do a match look ahead and breakdown video on yesterday. So if you want to check that out, you can still find that on my channel. But for me, this shouldn't really change anything in terms of starting 11. Now, it definitely does offer a good substitute option. But I can't really see Arteta starting him. And I think it would be slightly irresponsible doing so anyway. Because whether or not it was right or wrong for him to, to be starting this early in his injury comeback, you certainly don't want to push it even more. And with such a short space of time between the two games, extra care for sure needs to be taken. So personally, I would still be starting Trossard. And then you can you can bring Jesus on at sort of 70-ish minutes. And to be fair, you can bring him on no matter what's happening on the pitch. Like, if we're losing, it's a good option to bring on and try and change the game. And then again, if we're drawing, he could be an option that when he is in introduced he has the dynamism to bring a different look to the Arsenal attack but then again if Arsenal are in a good position and winning you can bring him on for 20 minutes ease him back into a Premier League game just to keep gaining that match sharpness that he so often delivers I guess no matter what way you look at it it's good news for Arsenal having a player of this quality return to fitness will and has previously risen the performance level and effectiveness of the whole team I mean now I just look forward to the press conference to see what Arteta has to say about it so now on to the next one and as you know we are edging ever closer to the January transfer window so naturally, we'll start coming across transfer stories and stories that are actually coming from what you would expect to be well-informed sources. So a player we've been linked to for more than a few years now, Dusan Vlahovic, is being linked again with a move to Arsenal. So I decided to look into some of the stats of how he performed since he moved to Juventus. And look, I know stats don't tell the whole story, but they do go some way in creating a template on how you would imagine this player produce him when he arrives at your club and I have to say it does not make for great reading so he has played 10 times in the Italian league this season and he scored four goals which is you know it's a little less than a goal every two games for reference Enketia has played 12 times this season and scored five times so that's not too dissimilar from Vlahovic's record. Now look, I want to make this clear. I think Vlahovic is probably a better player than Enketia, but all I'm doing is comparing numbers. And to be fair, you could say, well, Vlahovic might just be having an off season. So let's look at his last season stats. So in all competitions last season, he played 42 games, scoring a total of 14 goals, which equates to exactly one goal every three games. So I'm not sure about you, but I wouldn't exactly say these are the stats of someone who appears to be tearing up trees. And once again, I will say stats are not everything, but do Arsenal really need to be taking that kind of risk when signing a striker I thought the whole point of us signing a striker was to complete the puzzle we have a solid team now we have hardly any gaps at all and all that a lot of people think we need is a guy to stick the ball in the back of the net sort of 30 times a season but that to me doesn't seem to be Dusan Vlahovic but let me know your thoughts in the comment section on everything you've heard in this video like what do you think of the whole Gabriel Jesus fiasco and do you think Arsenal should be going for Vlahovic or would you be hoping we sign someone a little more prolific Thanks as always to everyone who's watching and listening. If you could, please like and subscribe. And I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Gooners, have a good day.